Yo, I wake up this morning now. I met the nice boy. Should I miss this day, boy? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I told you. Yes, sir, we can't see the track of you. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I said, boy, and I watch into all my boys and snap over me. And they were flossing and things. And I hear, boy, I come out and suck up. <laughs> Hi, I am Trishana McGowan and welcome back to my YouTube channel for my series Behind the Scenes of Sports in Jamaica. I made a stop to the GC Foster College, the home of the Sprintec Track Club. Good morning, coach. Good morning. Getting ready to demolish your athletes. Ah. So you are a former athlete, a lot of your training partners are still competing and you're coaching them. What is the respect like between all of you guys uh, whenever you have to step into, the, whenever you're in your coaching element? Well, the respect is where it should be. That's not an issue because um, these athletes would understand when it's time for business and when it's time for play. And, um, they would have known my coaching abilities based on what I've done before in, um, when, I, when I used to coach at the high school level. Bridgeport High School? Bridgeport High School. Hmm. They would have known. So, and um, the thing with uh, Mr. Wilson, he's always teaching us to be students of the sport. So whenever we train among his training group, everyone understands what it's like to get in a professional setting when it's time to do so. How can I train that? I run to them to come with me. <laughs> you want company for a long run rush? Yes. You see athletes, you know, be so dependent on times and results when they don't get that, they slip into depression. As a young coach, have you been seeing that and how do you guide them as best as possible to, to lift themselves out of that state? I have been seeing that a lot, especially with the younger athletes. When, as I said before, when it regards to the older athletes, they are a bit coming from the rough. So they would understand that you must not worry 
you must just allow the process to take place. But the younger ones, they believe in now, it must happen now. They don't. Some of them put themselves in the position because they really mm. don't put in the amount of work that you're supposed to put in and then the they expect the results. the results. So what you have to do now as a coach is just try to explain everything to them step by step. Show them the markers, show them that if you don't meet certain markers, don't expect this or don't expect that. You know, what you put in is what you get out. Sometimes they will put in a lot and they don't get it out. But that is when you have to sit them down mm -hmm. and try and find out what is happening in their heads. Because sometimes they are thinking too much about running fast times and it damages the whole execution of the race. And once you're not executing properly, the time will not come. You know, people train as hard as... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. you have to just execute properly. So you have to just take a step-by-step -step approach with athletes because a lot of them put themselves into depression. guys are coming up and they're running some tremendous time so Jamaican sprinters are really coming back we, we, actually we, we did not <laughs> left but definitely the younger guys are stepping up to the plate Whoa. let's go Five. quick quick I always say to on social media and to people in general, never think you're more disappointed than athletes. And that's whether junior or seniors, whenever they don't do well at a track meet or even at championships. What's your view? They will never understand our disappointment because they're not doing the work and they're not sure doing exactly what we want. To come out here every day and train hard, get injury, recover from injury and then go out there and do what we need to do and then get disappointed, trust me, it's a lot. How has transition been for you um, since leaving Homo Technical? Training was a bit harder as it requires more as at the professional level. so. That was hard and injuries made it even harder. Do you still get excited about uh, track and field? I know the training is so tough. I watched you this morning. Uh, but do you still get excited about the possibility that you can become one of the best 400 meter athletes in the national colours at the senior level? I think so. I mean, I'm always excited, especially at training. I mean, the environment is awesome. So. Having a good training session means a lot and that just uh, motivates me to do well. And I do believe that I can become one to contest with for the nation. So the Spring Tech Group, you have produced you know, stellar athletes over the years. What more do you want to see for this printed based club? Consistency. Athletes be competing on a yearly basis, just being consistent. Competing against the world and competing at the world class level each and every time they step out there on the track. And of course, more medals. <laughs> That's important, yeah. yeah. Um, because the sports is unkind if you're not getting yeah. those. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to watch, like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time.